Yeah. After we won that science enterprise, Finn got way into space exploration. Dreamed up this moon transport. She wanted to reinvent the whole world. Reports of the underground messing with a billboard nearby. The full capsule used to be a dump, but I'm good. They cleaned it up a little. After seeing it in the Olympics, Finn got crazy good at table tennis in like a week. Her spin game was unreal. Could put the ball wherever she wanted. Girl is agile as heck. <sighs> time capsule under that fountain when it was first installed. It's been so long, now they're doing repairs on it. I think I can use that hoist to move the fountain. Levitating fountain trick. Voila. Finn loved these scratch art pads. Said it reminded her that no matter what something looked like on the surface, there was always more going on underneath. Listen up. I finally have scientific proof that Spider-Man is a crime against nature. Allow me to explain. A recent incident involving a construction crane and a tiny bit of ice turned into a spider snafu when the masked menace decided to intervene. The result? A disaster the likes of which this city has never seen. We have yet to receive a body count, but I can assure you, it will be. What's that? <clears throat> Finn upgraded her swim goggles with sonar and a heads-up display. She never could stand losing to anyone, especially me. should be out on those pylons. <laughs> Same with... Fearless hopping off those back in the day. We gave copies of our keys to each other so we could hang out more. Ended up just hiding messages in each other's rooms.
Sun and the Underground are trading shots nearby. Uh, time castles under that holiday train thing. Gotta move it out the way. Man, we flew down the street after we tricked out these skates with compressed air boosters. Neighbors started calling us the little geniuses after that. All that attention felt kind of weird and kind of cool. Hey, y'all. How about we find a left we got to and settle this, huh? are gonna tear the city apart. I should get out of here. This nice when we hit a capsule in the wall here. Man, time flies. Nice. Holiday spirit is alive and concert tickets. Finn convinced me to go with her. I went ready to hate it and wound up buying three CDs and a t shirt. Dazzler and Lila Cheney for life. One summer, we got way into space travel and started freeze drying our favorite foods. Bacon, egg, and cheese bagel, total fail. Red bean ice cream was not bad, though. You know, most people are cut out to be superheroes. What? Yeah! Uh. 
awesome. We always wonder what stuff like Thor's hammer was made of and invented our own imaginary elements to explain it. Finn's names always sounded the best. around those workers to grab that capsule. Thing just disappeared like magic. Got it. <laughs> Parts from the first PC we built. I used it for gaming. Finn used it to help an ESU Alzheimer's research team. Both good uses, I'd say. Tour Oscorp in eighth grade. Finn was way skeptical. Said that they were gonna destroy New York one day. Devil's breath almost proved her right. <sighs> League. I mentioned to Finn one time I was into soccer, and she went all impossible mission to steal this from an exhibition match for me. She'd do anything for her friends. Capsules in that tree planter. He's a sneak up here to Stargate. 
Kim was always checking out books before she finished her last ones. She even grabbed mine when I wasn't looking. Said it kept her brain sharp. Never saw one until the 2016 Black... And wow, the sky was full. on a field trip to a Wakandan Design Group Expo. Finn saw all the tech on display and shouted, I want to be an engineer! <laughs> Guess it's stuck. trying to break into a store. Breaking somewhere else, too. Freaked out when we get a time capsule in this cave. The place still gives me the creeps. Great. Mom made this pique hot sauce for Finn's birthday. Abuela's recipe, I think. Finn put it on everything. Always said, if it doesn't hurt, you're not doing it right. Hey, man. I don't think I ever told you about the time capsules me and Finn hit around the city. Anyway, I just found them all. Really threw me for a loop. Oh, were they foreshadowing your present situation? No, it just reminded me how simple we thought the world was. Ah. I was jealous of how planned out she had her life. First, she'd solve global warming, then world hunger. Next was curing cancer, and before she retired, communicate with aliens. I don't think any plan you had would have included you getting nipped by a genetically engineered spider. Yeah. I guess things are different now for the both of us. <laughs> 